Welcome to Lanyap, a program about events, issues, and people. I'm Corey Crow. I'm joined today by Jenny Morse. She's the director of the Learning Pod at Louisiana Key Academy, coming to Ruston, Louisiana. Jenny, welcome. Thanks for being with us today on Lanyap. Thank you so much for having me. Well, it's great to have you. And uh, some folks may not know the name Louisiana Key Academy, but you guys are making some uh, national headlines. Tell me what Louisiana Key Academy is all about. Well, right now we have three campuses that are going on. One is our flagship in Baton Rouge, and it's been going on since 2013. Uh, It was started by Dr. Laura Cassidy and um, another mom. Uh, They both have dyslexic students, and they were looking for a way to help their children, and we're not really seeing it in the school system, and so they decided to start a charter school. Talk to me about uh, the school uh, helps young folks with dyslexia, and I guess I had a Uh, sort of a misrepresentation in my mind. I thought maybe they got the letters jumbled up and I watched some videos and they were like, oh, visually it it looks different uh, to these students when they try to read. But you tell me that's not necessarily the case. Right. There is a a, a misunderstanding about what dyslexia is. It really has nothing to do with eyes. It has nothing to do with ears. It is actually just an inefficient way that the brain reads. So a regular brain is using certain parts of their brain to read, and a dyslexic brain is using other parts of their brain to read. And so it's just inefficient. They're not seeing anything different. So they don't see anything different. It just is the wiring's kind of different. Right, right. It just makes it a lot more difficult for them to access the sound to symbol representation. So what you see as a letter that those indicate sounds. Tell me a little bit about uh, how common dyslexia is. Um, Do we see it in a lot of folks? It's actually very surprising. One in five people have dyslexia. And when I first heard that, I had to go find out the research. Where did that come from? Because that sounds like a lot of people. But first of all, the research is great. It was done in Connecticut. It was a longitudinal study. And what they did was they took a kindergarten class and they screened everyone. And screening is a lot like in medicine. You give it to everyone whether you think they have it or not. And once they're screened, those that were um, showing signs or risks, then they were further assessed. And they found that 20% of that class actually had dyslexia. Wow, that's that's a lot. Um, We often talk about um, kids reading on grade level. And... um, there's a, and it's not a true statistic, but every you hear it quoted that you know they're building prisons based on how many kids in third grade aren't reading at the right level, and and that's a misnomer. But you had an interesting fact about prisons and and prisoners. Tell me what what are you seeing a lot of dyslexia in folks in prison? So just recently in 2019, there was a study done here in Louisiana and uh, went to the prison and did the same uh, situation as in Connecticut. We screen first and then those that are showing those indicators um, are further assessed. And when it was all said and done, 50 percent of all inmates in that prison were dyslexic. So to me, that really speaks to if you can't access reading, you can't access work, you can't access regular society. It's everywhere. Um, You are uh, specifically uh, focusing on second, third, and fourth graders, and uh, you're trying to put together a school for Ruston right now. Tell me, um, you've got these schools in South Louisiana. Why Ruston? Is there a need there? Oh, my goodness. Well, if one in five are dyslexic, there's a need everywhere. But, um, yes, we have that campus in Baton Rouge. Last year, there was a campus that opened in Caddo Parish, and two years before that, uh, one in North Shore. So um, I've been involved in becoming a dyslexia therapist over the last few years, and I just had an interest. And um, actually, Louisiana Key Academy approached me and said, do you think there's enough interest in Reston? Do they know enough about dyslexia that they would see the value? And I said, uh, let's give it a try. And um, we, are, we are securing our building. Uh, it's, it's really coming together. I'm hiring teachers. It's very exciting. You guys are a, are a charter school, but a 501c3. And uh, getting the, the school kicked off and um, you're looking for students, um, when do you hope to get started? Our opening day is August 15th. We will open our doors to the students. And uh, second, third, and fourth graders. Now, if there's a parent out there and they think, uh, you know, my son or daughter has a 
has a reading problem or they've been already diagnosed with dyslexia, what are the steps to get in contact with you guys? Well, our website is uh, lkaschools.com, and um, you just pull down Rustin. There's a place to put down that campus. Um, if, if they are wondering if their child is dyslexic, this is another wonderful benefit about LKA, is that if you apply for school, your assessment is free, and so you will get an expert assessment to see if your child is dyslexic. You mentioned the word free, and um, this is uh, something that uh, – in a lot of cases, is not free. Uh, if you sent uh, a child to a uh, dyslexia center, dyslexia school, you would spend a lot of money. But in this case, it's actually free. Correct. Um, LKA is actually featured in what we would call the Bible of Dyslexia, which is Overcoming Dyslexia by Dr. Sally Shaywitz. And it has a chapter about LKA. There are some other schools that are featured. So I just kind of randomly picked a couple of the schools, one in Atlanta and one in, uh, in Los Angeles. And the one in Los Angeles was $44,000 a year, and the one in Atlanta was $68,000 a year. What so. I want to ask you, uh, we've got about a minute or so left. What makes this school different than everywhere else what do you do with dyslexic students that they're not doing at other places right we follow the state standards as far as the course subjects but for one thing the delivery is just different our teachers are trained to learn all about dyslexia and how to teach dyslexics but i think our premier thing is that we have um, 90 minutes of structured language arts every day. So no child is pulled out where they're missing other content. And because everyone there is dyslexic, they're not gonna feel different. They're not gonna feel like, oh, I can't do this and uh, I have to be pulled out to reading time. Everybody will have it. You've got an informative meeting coming up. Uh, tell me about that. Okay, there's an information meeting at the Lincoln Parish Library the day after Father's Day, Monday, June 17th at one o'clock. And we're speaking with Jenny Morse, uh, Louisiana Key Academy, the name of the school. Jenny, again, for folks to get in contact and learn more about Louisiana Key Academy, and, and if they're having a problem, uh, maybe you guys can help. That's right. Um, LKA is um, located at a website. Um, I've just lost a now. LKAschools.com. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's uh, Jenny Morris, the Louisiana Key Academy. Again, uh, second, third, and fourth graders are uh, setting up the school in Ruston. You can find out more about this and other events by heading to our website, KEDM.org.